And plenty of bourbon back there. Yeah. I think that's all it is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all it is. Tommy Shelby, yeah, yes. Peaky Blindest. Yes. All right, guys, check it out. We are headed out to Henderson, Kentucky. One of my barbers who you guys have definitely seen before, DW, he's the bald guy in the very back of the shop. He is opening his own shop and I told him I'd come out just to support him, go check it out. We're gonna make a video about it. I know you guys loved my How to Open a Barbershop series. So we're gonna go check out another barbershop and we'll just talk to him for a second, kind of about what he went through, some difficulties he had, some things that were easy maybe. Just see his experience and give you guys a little more background on opening the shop. And I wanna check it out myself too and I'm gonna make him a little Instagram reel to promote it while we're out there. So let's hop in the car, head to Henderson. It's about 30 minutes away and check out Speakeasy Barbershop. All right, guys, we made it about a half hour away. This is downtown Henderson, Kentucky. Now, you guys don't believe me sometimes when I tell you I'm from a smaller town. This is even smaller than me. So this is, I think, a little bit under 30,000. And where I'm at is uh, around 120, 130, I believe, but a little bit bigger than this. But the shop is right here. Let's go in and check it out. Just give me the tour, man. All right, so you walk in, we got a little uh, seating area lounge right here. And then you got the exposed brick here, the industrial look with the exposed uh, ductwork. So they end up kind of going for the, the vintage look there. Uh, this shelf here, where we have a lot of our merchandise on, this is actually an original uh, shelving here from the old uh, Henderson Electric. This is the, it came with the original uh, space. So we made, we made sure we wanted to repurpose that. Kind of fits into our overall look. The floor is kind of that matches, you know, all the different types. And you put this in? Uh, yeah. So yeah, our contractor. It's, it's obviously newer than, yeah, the, than exactly. the brick and everything else. Yeah. So contractor exposed our brick. Uh, he laid it all the floor. Uh, he got electrical and did to do all our lighting, our exposed, you know, heating air, dark stuff up work. I have a good friend that does a lot of woodwork. Actually made uh, these stations. A hotel here in town, Ramada Inn, was throwing these out. And I, I, I was just driving by and I was like, man, what the heck? So I went and asked him, and he was asking them, and I was like, what's going on here with these? He's like, oh, we're just, uh, they're renovating the, new, the hotel, we're putting all new stuff. He said, take them, cut them up. Perfect. Yeah, so that worked. We're trying to repurpose a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, it goes with the vibe. Exactly, yeah, so. Got the that. bourbon barrel. Yeah, bourbon barrel. Uh, Kentucky bourbon, for those of you yes. who don't. No, that's what it's about here. Kentucky bourbon is for all Sean's followers up north. I don't know, yeah. I don't know people up north. They, I bet I got a lot of bourbon drinkers. Yeah, so. All right, y'all already know about this. Oh, yeah. You know who did this for him. Sean Cuts Hair Collab, Speakeasy. Custom Illusion. Custom Illusion. <laughs> got the uh, rocks glasses down there, ghosted in. So, what do y'all went to barber school with actually had him sitting in storage from where he opened up his uh, first barbershop. And so he had him in storage and they were, uh, their own school, uh, you know, shaving shop. You know, like, like, this back, headrest goes up. Yep. Yeah, that, you got the whole, the whole shaving, you know what I mean? The whole shaving experience here. So actually when I pulled them out of storage, this was this was actually chrome, but it was so where you had in storage where they got like, uh, like wet. Yeah. They was like rusted out. So actually uh, spray paint those. So I don't know if you, yeah. you could tell that. No, so, I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, so I used that kind of that brass kind of, you know, black look, so. Yeah, cool. I actually found this bar in uh, Mount Vernon, Illinois. A uh, guy was getting rid of it. Uh, he had built a whole bar. He had like an outdoor building at his house. It was like a man cave. It was a huge, it was a huge man cave. And uh, he had to get rid of it because uh, he was doing a mother in law suite. So he had it priced, uh, he had it priced to move. And I, I, I got on there, I got really lucky actually. I wasn't even gonna get it. Somebody already, it was a pending sale. And I said, well, if they, if they 
can't get it, I'll be there like now. I don't know if he can just tell how, you know, how much I wanted it. He even said, you know, come, come get it. it. So we got we got a truck and got down there and picked it up. Same style chairs. Yeah, it's up to chair. Cool. And plenty of bourbon back there. Yeah. I think that's all it is, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Tommy Shelby, yeah, yeah, Peaky uh, Blind. Yeah, it sits in with our speakeasy you know, yeah. kind of bottle, but yeah, that's a, all our bourbon bottles. It kind of goes from, you know, bottom shelf, mid shelf, getting a little bit higher, and then you get to really. I good. saw the Wellers over yeah, there. What's the, uh, the middle, bl Blanford's, Blanford's and, Blanford's? And, uh, Yeah, it's Taylor. That's, uh, yep. that's where you're getting the, some, you know, rare, kind of harder to find bottles. Had to grab me a shirt because it matches the New Balance. Perfect, and I don't even wear no other colors. You guys know I wear black all day, every day. But since it matches the shoes, perfect. And I'm gonna support my boy. Went ahead and grabbed me a shirt. Now let's sit down with DW, and I'm gonna pick his brain a little bit about opening the shop and how it went for him. All right, so I just did all series opening 54. So I just wanna, because you just went through this totally different building, different yeah. style, whatever. Yeah. Um, just a little quick, you know, we'll maybe just start off with some things. Uh, maybe that were challenging that you had to figure out or you know just some of the like when you think of what it took to do this you know what what's some things that come to mind top of my head i guess just because i was working in Owensboro, you know which is 30 minutes away from here but having to make decisions when i wasn't here like when i like when i you know have a contract report that's you know like he helped me you know like he did all the you know, the, you know, the heavy heavy lifting yeah. but you know i was of course the interior guy but i was still you know making decisions on you know, what lighting, to, you know, what lighting to go here, you is know, this, like, is this high? Yeah, is this high? Like, yes, yeah. exactly, I mean, I'm not here, it's, it's like, well, can you meet me? And like, no, I can't, but I can, you know, I can, I can swing over here, yeah, send me a picture, we're FaceTiming, so that was tough for me just because I was, you know, far enough away. I don't know, like, trying not to get, like, overwhelmed, I guess, like, with decisions, you know? Oh, you, you just talked about, like, losing sleep at night because yeah. you're overthinking. Yeah, overthinking stuff, like, not turning, like, man, like, you have it in your head, like, oh, I know, I know I want this to be, you know, like this. I want, you know, this guy, this guy look like this. But then it's like, at a certain point, it's like, you can only do so much, you know, day by day. You know what I mean? You can get so much in a day. Like, it's it, a, comes, it comes it, together. Yeah, it comes together nice, but it's a slow, it's a slow process. It's not, it's not happening, you know, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, to me, is just like, don't, you know, try to, like, turn your brain off, I guess. And that was a... Let me ask you this, because this happened for me both times. I had like an actual idea in my head of what it was going to look like, mm -hmm. and I put it out pretty dang close. Do you feel like that in here? I, you said the color's different than what you Yeah, 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 I guess, yeah, that, yeah, the color, my wife, of course, had a, you know, persuade me into this color, so yeah, other than that color, the, yeah, the bar, the, you know, the overall, you know, layout, you know, the lounge, yeah, I mean, yeah. Pretty well. Yeah, pretty well yeah. close, yeah. I mean, obviously it still comes together. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know what bar you're gonna get, but. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Both, like, 54 we just did. Like, I, now that I had done it all, I knew what lights I wanted, what the walls were gonna look like, how far they were gonna be apart, and we went and did it, you know? So yeah. I think that's cool, though. It's yeah. Like, when you first had this idea, I don't remember if you mentioned it before you started or whatever. Yeah, I, think, I, mean, I think, I feel like we were sitting Mr. B's when I told you. Yeah. My first, you know, I was like, I want to do this, you know, I want to have, I want to sell, you know, I want to sell merchandise. But probably the first time you walked in here, you were like, all right, I could do this. Yes, it's in your head, so, you're, you're mapping it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's so cool for you to be in here finished. Yeah, it's pretty. And be similar to what you were thinking. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, yeah. It's what so, about like, for people that are thinking about doing it, if you've worked for me for eight years and now we're doing it, probably the right time now, but yeah. what, like, what was easy? What makes you wish, like, man, maybe I should have done this sooner, or, you know what I mean? Like, uh, or do you feel like, I feel like it's the right time? I feel like location for me uh, was the biggest thing. Like, I feel like there was, there was locations that came about, I didn't show, I think I showed you that location yeah, really on the strip. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you showed yeah. me like a commercial one, yeah, like yeah, which would not have been cool yes, like this. Yeah, so location was the biggest thing. There was like a few that popped up that I went, kind of looked at and I was like, ah, like it could work, but we weren't crazy. Like this, it just never added up. Like this was just like right place, right time. Like I felt great about this location. I really, you know, felt great about the, you know, the contractor that I'm working with. Like we hit it off. Like he was like super supportive on seeing, you know. Yo, yeah, so, yeah, so this kind of stuff together. So that was, that's how it, it was just right place at the right time. Because I mean, had this exact, you know, opportunity came about three years ago, you know, yeah, I probably would, you know, it, it, but who would know? You know, it's just, you never know. Maybe would have done it, but maybe exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I just think it was just one of those things that was meant to be, you know? Yeah. Well, I think it's dope. I kind of knew because you had told me the idea. Uh, and then I did see the pictures the other day. Definitely, I, I sent it to my wife because 
this is definitely her vibe. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you'll love this. This is more her. Vibe. This is like more her aesthetic. Well, even your thrift and stuff. And yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, you yeah. want to do. Yeah, like, yeah. Some, uh, she, she definitely digs it. And uh, and you're way more like modern. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah. I know. I, I like this, and I I always can appreciate. Like this is definitely you. Like like more so like and I think my shop is me. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, so, yeah. But I can always appreciate like cars for example. I mean, so you have a car. I don't, right? I don't love all cars, but if it's yours and it's done well and it's your style, I can appreciate it. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's good so style. this is not how I would do a barbershop. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't have a bourbon lounge because I don't drink. Yeah. But for you, I think it's I think it's perfect. Yeah. So I get that. Well, I'm hyped for you. I think uh, I think you're gonna see it pop off faster than you expected. Especially with this, this is unique. Um, I, I can't yeah. imagine that Henderson's any different than Owensboro with anybody doing anything remotely. Yeah. That's new and cool. So that was kind of the main reason I wanted to yeah. get, you know, get in here and do this because, like, I mean, you got to drive it nationally. It's wide open. Yeah, you got to drive it. Well. Like, it's yeah. wide open for somebody to do something different. So I think I think you're gonna crush it. So maybe we'll come back and check in. We'll give you a few months to get going. We'll come back and check in. Oh yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, man I appreciate sure. it. Proud of it, man. I appreciate I, it's, it. It's a funny thing to say as a shop owner. Obviously, I don't want anybody ever to leave. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. realistically, but I'm the opposite, man. Like when Roscoe lets and open his shop and he's like, dude, I'm 25 heads a day. And I'm, you know, like I'm proud of him, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. proud because he came through. Came I'm like, through I'm like the, uh, well, we used to call it the farm team because you went there. Oh, you went there. Start here. I won't say it like that because you've been with me a long time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like for me to have, you know, provide a place for you for this long and now you step out and hopefully you've learned some stuff from me oh, yeah, and that helps you be successful and like I don't want you to stay I want you to do this I will say and this is a kind of a final take on that you made it look a lot easier than like <laughs> when you're like when you, you go. like when you boot through it you know you're like man, he's got this going on and then like you said well, I can do it I can do that and you step out and you're like bro this is hard that's, <laughs> a, that's an awesome like, that's an awesome comment though because I think every barber has that idea of like I'm paying all this money and he's making all the money. Yeah. yeah, and then you get into it and you're like, man, this is expensive and the rent's high and the utilities. I just, I just paid nine hundred dollars in both shops electric bills the other day. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Like bro. that's why booth renter is what it is. And so. when you leave and then you walk out those doors yeah. as your booth renter, it's like, all right, you know, you kind of and you leave it now and you walk out as an owner and it's like you stay up till three. Yeah, yeah, yeah think about it. Yeah. yeah. What uh what are you gonna charge for booth renter? I think we're gonna start around like 150. I think that's a fair. I think for this demographic, for this area, I think 150. I, I think it would still be cheaper than uh, all the other shops. Yeah. Do like, you care to tell me what this is costing? Uh, we just went over numbers in my series. So we're paying. Uh, so we're paying 1,500 uh, here. So we got into a pretty. I mean, <laughs> that, we're in. We're in. That hurts my yeah. <laughs> so we're uh, we're in Henderson though. I mean we're in Henderson, so we're paying yeah. 1,500. I would I, guess I haven't 18 uh, two, but that's yeah, good. I haven't uh, got the utility switch over. I think. Uh, Contract or something thinks it's like a six hundred dollar deposit, and I don't. I have to go look and see. Yeah. You know what? We're probably like two thousand. Yeah. Maybe twenty five hundred. Probably yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. But you also have another income maker. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. And then merchant. And merch. Yeah. yeah. So you set up, man. We're selling That's hair good. product. I think uh, we're gonna get some cologne in here. We're gonna be selling some yeah. cologne. Yeah. Every, so. do cigars. I mean, yeah. maybe not smoking in here, but yeah. How's that work? You have to have no, a, no, a, a humidor no, or not a humidor? What's it called? Like where like you sit in like a closed room, yeah. like, where it's like sealed off. Maybe that room right there. Yeah, yeah you're set up though. I think it's gonna, I think yeah. you're gonna crush it. Thanks, brother. All right, guys, just got home and realized I forgot to record an outro. So here it is. Super proud of my guy DW. That shop is super dope. So clean, nice. Definitely not my style. Obviously, you guys have seen my shop, but I think it fits him perfectly. The Bourbon Lounge is dope as well. So I wish him the best. I hope he is so successful. I think he is gonna be busier and it's gonna be better than he ever imagined. So I know that's what's happened for me. And I know when you put all your efforts and passion into some stuff like that, it's always going to work out. So we'll check back in with them in the future and see how it's working out. Before we go real quick, guys, two things. These crossbody bags you guys have seen me wearing are in. They will be on gmbpro.com and you guys can save 10% on your order for these or anything else on the website using code Shanka Tear. So definitely go check those out. And you saw my guys custom cape, DW's cape for the Speakeasy Barber Lounge. If you guys want me to design a cape, I am still doing that. So don't hesitate to reach out via Instagram DMs if you guys want me to design a cape for you. So with that being said, that is it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to throw up the playlist of how to open a barbershop right here. You guys can check that out if you want to. And I'll catch you guys next time.